You've probably seen the new Spider-Man. It's currently ranked the 12th best movie of all time. So I was thinking, why don't I just make a Spider-Verse video game? With the help of AI and in the time frame of two weeks. Sony Kai will do it in two weeks for that month. It's not possible. Police say you just sell it to them for like four to six million dollars. Coming up with game ideas could be extremely difficult, but with AI on my side, it was a piece of cake. Dimensions, swinging, and drones sums up the game idea ChatGPT provided. Dimensions from the Across the Spider-Verse movie, swinging from the Spider-Man franchise of course, and drones from the Spider-Man Far From Home. But one thing I didn't tell you is, while ChatGPT was coming up with the idea, I was setting up the Unity project for the game. So now that we have the game idea ready and the project set up, it's high time we add the first game mechanic. Swinging. Now I'm gonna tell you something important. Swinging in real life may be fun, but programming a swinging mechanic may take ages to accomplish. You have to dig into physics subjects like simple harmonic motions, springs, and tension. Well, I'm not trying to say I'm intelligent, but I literally went through emotional distress sessions just to get the web shooting and the web swinging systems working. I've been working on this game for like the past few days. Like, I just can't get the character to swing, which is affecting me in some way. Like, I guess this is how game development is. Like, you just have to go through the pain and the suffering at the first stage. Trust me, suffering is a canon event all game developers have to go through. Now, I'm sure you're thinking, why didn't I just use AI to get the code for the game mechanics? Well, I love the challenge, but hear me out. I saved it for the more interesting part, the animation. Trust me, AI is taking game development to a whole new level. I would say it's even getting scary for designers and animators. This is a tool that automatically transforms videos into computer 3D animations. Deep motion. We use this AI tool to transform some videos into custom animations for our Spider-Man character. And after minutes of wait time and some animation tweaking, we can now swing from one point to another and dive with slick animations. This is only a little part of the whole process. We still need dimension switching, visual effects, portals, drones, and many more game mechanics. But before all of that, I decided to do something amazing. Design my own AI, drone.ai. If you were following closely earlier on, you would know that drones are an important part of the game idea ChatGPT came up with. I downloaded these drone models and decided to program their own AI brains to chase the player while they're swinging through the city. Trust me, these drones are pretty smart. They can change their velocities anytime just to hit you. And guess what? When they hit you, you fall and die. Oh, look at that ragdoll physics. The drones and their artificial intelligence extremely increased the gameplay experience. It added more depth to the game. Now you can dodge obstacles. But I felt the gameplay experience was a little bit incomplete. It needed more game design and progression features. Making the game an endless swinger game was a perfect solution. I programmed the city and environment to endlessly respawn to create an unending loop. So there's literally no end to the game. You just have to keep dodging the drones and swinging through the city. Wow, how boring could that be? I decided to make it a little bit more exciting by adding some stats like miles travel. Like Miles Morales? Like miles. Like kilometer miles, you know? I had the basic game done at this point, but one last piece was missing from the game. A very crucial piece, portals and dimensions. Just as how important portals and dimensions were in the Across the Spider-Verse movie, they also played an important role in the game too. I hopped into Photoshop to make a hexagonal ring, and with a few visual effects tweaks, I recreated the portal effect from the movie. Hey, don't lie, it's low-key sick. 
I even added some spot effects to match up with the spot villain from the movie. After making some portals, I added some other visual effects. For example, these speed lines show up when you are diving and some cartoon explosion effects that show up when the drones hit the player. This was created by Bink AI Image Generator. So far, you've only seen the tip of the iceberg. Creating each dimension for the game made the game look a thousand times better. I designed all of them with stable diffusion and Unity's post-processing feature. I then made a program to alternate them every single time the player enters a portal. And after all of that, the game was complete. Bro, this is the best game game I have ever made. The time is currently 5 a.m. I just finished the game and this is like, bro, bro, like, I just can't imagine I could, I could do this in like two weeks. This, this didn't take that long. I can't believe I actually made this in such, like such a short amount of time. Bro, I, I don't even know what to say at this point. Hey look, as a matter of fact, there is only one way to play this game. For legal and copyright reasons, this game is only a fan art game, and it's not commercially available anywhere. However, you can join our Discord with the link below to play the game. And whoever has the highest miles traveled by July 5th would be getting a free $50 Amazon gift card. So subscribe, like, and join the Discord to play the game and win. This is me saying thank you for the recent love and support I have received on this channel. Sony, if you wanna buy this game for like $7 billion, I'm down. <laughs> Check your emails, I've sent an email, I'm down. Jokes apart, an internship would actually do, like Sony. And you can help also, like the video, subscribe, drop a comment, so the algorithm takes it to the right person. And yeah, that's it. Love, Michael.